So we're going to make a start. So I've got a few questions I want to go through with you. Okay. Um, we looked at some questions of year fives already. Um, not these ones, but other ones. And they're quite challenging questions. Okay. So I'm not going to pretend they're such easy questions. I like to really challenge you in your thinking. We're using something called bar models. Have you heard of bar models before? Have you been using them in school? Do you like them? Be honest. No? Why not? It's too long to drink. Some are complicated, yeah. The questions you can't avoid, right? The question is going to be given to you. You can't choose whether it's complicated or not complicated. So, bar models are there to really support you to make you think about the question and help you see the picture of the question. So, I'm going to set you off. I'm not going to say you have to use bar modeling for this first part, but when we start working together, if we need to, then we're going to uh, use bar models, okay? Um, this is the question that I want to focus on now. It says, Rukeya had some books. She gave a fifth of her books to charity and half of the remainder to the library and still had 18 books left. How many books did she give to charity? That's the question I want you to think about. Does that make sense? So talk to each other for a minute, okay? And then I'm going to come back together and then I'm going to discuss this question a bit more. If you want to do some writing, you can do. If you want to start to work it out already, that's also fine. Talk to each other for maximum one minute, okay? Go. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are going to charity, so I think it's 18. Get half of the remainder to the library. So then half is going to be left. So it's going to be. Before she half is going to be 18. Are we happy? Do you think it's 18 or do you think? You're not sure? Do you think it's 18? You're not there yet. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. Like I said, it's a challenging question, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to say whether you're right or wrong. I want you to decide whether you're right or wrong very soon. Okay? Firstly, we're going to draw a bar model for this. Okay? It says here, Rukeya had some books. Can you draw a bar to represent that statement? Rukeya had some books. Can you draw a bar for that to represent that statement? Okay, great. Let's see what was really quick. So here I'm done. <coughs> Okay, okay, so there's two bars we've got, right? Some of us have just drawn one bar. And Muhammad, what, you, what have you done? Why has he done that? Right, because you've read ahead and you thought, oh, he gave with 50 charities, so I might as well just make them to fifths. So he's broken down into five equal Is it equal parts? No. Can you make it a bit better? A bit more equal? Can you try to do that? Can you make five equal parts? If we're going to rub it out and draw five. Parts one at a time, that's also fine. Wow, we've done really well. Okay, so we've got five equal parts. And we said we did that because you should be read ahead and it says get, she gave a fifth of her books to charity. Can you show me how it looks like, like the part that she gave to charity? Can you do something to kind of show, illustrate that this is how much she's gone, this has gone to charity? Can you? Oh, don't just yet. Yeah. So a fifth is charity, right? Can you write down something to kind of indicate C for charity or something like that? That would be good, right? One fifth and that goes to charity. Brilliant. Ah, I like handwriting. Well done. Okay. Now I want you to think about this. Now I'm going to let go. I'm not going to say anything. I want you to read the question again. And every time you read a sentence, a statement, I want you to refer back to your bar model. See, can I put that in my bar model somewhere? Okay, that means this, that means that, oh, that means that, and then you can maybe try to answer the question. I'm going to give you a minute or two to try to do that. Read the question and think about what, exactly what it says.
happy. Give me 30 seconds to finish off. Original answer 18. Okay, I don't want to tell me the answer. We don't agree with the original answer. But what about you? Do you have an answer? I didn't have an answer. You didn't have an answer before. What about now? No. You've got an answer now. You're happy with your answer? You're confident? What about you? You're not sure you're saying? Okay, so let's talk through it. Are you happy with my drawing to represent the number of uh, books Bukaya has at the beginning? Yeah? So, okay. And what do we need to shade in to represent the match you gave to charity? one of these bars okay so let me shade that in and say that this is the c for charity is that okay we don't know how many she gave charity do we is that a question but that's the question so we need to work out what this amount is question mark okay i'll put a question mark there and i'll write c here to represent that it's for charity that's, i need to work that out that's my question mark. then it says in the question she gave a fifth of her book to charity and half of the remainder. Can you tell me where the remainder is in this? It's going to be here because the remainder is going to be, is going to be four fifths and okay. half of four fifths is two fifths. Right, so this is the remainder. So this is two fifths. Half of the remainder, half of four parts is two parts. And so two parts, it says, she's given to the library. She gave this amount, I don't know how many yet, She's given that to the library. Does it tell us how many she gave to the library? No. Oh, it doesn't tell us that either. Okay. Then what, does it give us any other information in the question? Where is the left part? Can anyone show me? Oh, the last two bars are left. And if those two are the same. Right. These two are the same. And they're also equal to? 18. And therefore, each one must be? Nine. Right. Each one of these. And what is this? One... One fifth of the books that she's had, right? Or she has, she had. So, if one fifth of the books she has nine books, how many did she have at the beginning? Forty-five. Forty-five. But the question doesn't ask that, or does it? Then how many books? Did she get? How many bars do you see? What? How many fifths do you see she's given to charity? One. One. That's a question mark. We have to work that out, right? So we've worked out this part. Does that mean? Yeah, it's the same thing. So how can we answer this? How many did she give to charity? Nine. Nine. And you did that all by yourself, right? Let's see. Did you get nine? You got nine here. Well done. And yourself? You got nine? Well done. Do you see he's got nine? But how can we just 30, 60 by by four? What's that come from? Because there's four parts. There's four parts. Oh, you took the nine away from the 45. Yeah, and then you worked out that there are four parts and you did that and divide by divide by four okay right uh, and did you get that as well oh, 18 divided by two but right now nine yes. okay it's fine it's good that we correct ourselves really impressive that you want to do that and you've got 18 divided by two as well nine. very well done here six